Every now and then we can find ourselves in need of a little bit of inspiration. Or in some cases, we feel like we need a spoonful. Spoonful of Imagination is a nonprofit art studio uh, located in Warsaw. And uh, the desire is for us to create art and craft experiences for our entire community. And it can be more important than ever that there are places where young children can go and be able to express themselves in a way that makes them feel happy. I definitely think it's really important for kids to have an outlet to create. Um, I know a lot of schools are cutting back on that creativity and art in the classroom and it's really important for them to have a place to go where they feel like they can be creative and belong. And many of the children who take part are more than happy to keep coming back to do more and more projects. This is probably Brooklyn's favorite place to come. We have consistently signed up for their classes. I think since she was two, um, she's three, getting ready to turn four and will stay involved. This is one of her favorite things to do. While walking around the open space of the studio, I couldn't help but notice all the different projects being offered and wanted to learn more about them. I often say Erica is like the MacGyver of crafts, throw a bunch of supplies in front of her and she comes up with these amazing things. So the projects range from just painting projects, simple woodworking, uh, creating holiday wreaths. Uh, I think one of the things that Erica really prides herself on is just the idea of helping people to get out of their comfort zone. We love to repurpose items or to um, show that art doesn't have to be really expensive. So we'll use things like cardboard a lot of the times for our projects just to show that everyone, you have boxes coming to your house and you can repurpose them and reuse them to make beautiful pieces. They, art doesn't have to be expensive. So our front is mostly just paint items, but our classes and workshops have several steps and they'll be painting, embellishing, cutting things, gluing things to make new pieces. The art studio didn't begin its life as a place where people can come in and be creative. Sinful of Imagination began about 10 years ago as a DIY crafting blog and the heart was just to help people um, add a spoonful of imagination or a spoonful of creativity to their everyday life for a more beautiful life. But then how did it go from a concept in cyberspace to being a reality? We started hosting ladies nights and that's when I realized I really loved helping people create in person and help them tap into their own imagination and make creations they were proud of. So when we moved here a few years ago, we started doing it on our patio and those ladies nights grew into kid workshops and then we slowly outgrew our patio to where we needed to find a space and we opened the studio. And once the studio space was open, they were able to expand the programs available. We host kids workshops, after school workshops. That's one of my favorite things to do because the heartbeat is kids from different schools coming together and we do a project and we eat dinner together. So the kids are creating together and they're also connecting. We also do summer camps and ladies nights and some team building things. Birthday parties have really um, been something we've started doing a lot. Oftentimes taking a class or a workshop at an art studio can feel like it might break the bank. But by being a nonprofit, Spoonful of Imagination encourages people to come in and take part. It's very affordable to take the classes here because they're not looking to make money. They're just looking to, you know, break even but also they're raising money for good causes and I just think it's so important to give back to the community and this is a way to do that while also allowing for your children or yourself to do something fun um, and still being supportive of people that are in need. Having an active role in the arts can have added benefits in addition to having a cool piece of artwork to hang up. Children and even adults can use the creative outlet to work through tough emotional times and improve their overall mental health. Studies show that art really helps people think in other ways. It helps with languages. It helps with your openness. Um, for adults, I think it's great because it helps open their mind. And I think when people open their mind in something that's fun and creative, it helps them to think about other things. Um, I just think it's a great way also to relax. I'm actually looking forward to an upcoming ladies night here without the kids, just to paint and hang out and unwind. And it's a way to do that um, and also give back to the community. I believe art is a really powerful component of mental health. I've seen kids um, that come in and they're locked up and they just want to be on a device and they just want their mom's phone and they don't want to talk if you ask them a question they don't want to respond and then as soon as you put them down in an art project they start that start the hardness kind of dissolves and they start you see the real kid. What we have found is that through the experience of creating through the experience of arts and crafts um, there's just a sense of calm that happens. There's a sense of just release and um, kids can begin to be opened up. They can, they can begin to, to learn again in a healthy way. 
A place like Spoonful of Imagination offers something many other places don't in today's fast-paced world. A place to take the time to sit down and let your thoughts come out in a thoughtful and creative way. I think we all are creative, we just don't know it, and this is a great way to bring that out of you without feeling forced. Um, they're easy, it's just a great way to hang out with people too and get out of your normal comfort zone or what you're normally doing. I think we're all creative, we all have creative aspects, but I think what happens when you come in and, and you grab a paintbrush or you get involved into a, a craft project um, is it just helps to stretch those muscles a little bit um, and just expand your thinking in other areas of life. My goal is just to help them create and experience the beauty in the actual process and if they have something they like at the end that's just the bonus. Yeah, I love it.